folks, welcome back to the show. It's day two of the hunt down here in the low country at Cypress Creek Hunting Lodge. Yesterday we had a pretty good hunt, saw some hogs, nothing we really wanted to take. Weather broke, looks pretty good today. Uh, we'll go see if we can't get us a good eating hog tonight. Y'all stick around and we'll see what comes next. All right, we've got about, probably about two hours before it gets dark. The stand right here is a swamp on the left side of it, a pine thicket out in front of us. Up, as you can tell, right out in front of us, probably about 100 yards, we've got a bare spot in the food plots where all the bait's put out. Expecting the hogs to come out of this pine thicket to the right, swamp to the left, but with five days of rain, it's really wet down there, so I think most of them are up on the high ground. Pretty early this afternoon, got in here early to get settled in, hang out and see what goes on, but uh, we should be seeing some hogs any time now. Wind's a little bit against us, but it's blowing down towards the swamp, not directly down the food plot, so I think we'll be in fine shape. We'll just uh, wait and see. Well, we've been sitting here about an hour now. As you can see, it. shade's gotten out over the food plot. Sun ought to start dropping down here in a little while. Got a couple of doves out there, but they're not going to make the 50-pound weight limit, so we can't shoot them. It shouldn't be too awful much longer. The sun get down a little bit lower. The, the hogs ought to start moving and they ought to start coming out there to get a little corn for dinner. We'll just uh, wait a little while and I think we'll be in good shape. Last night we had a really good setup. It was in a good spot off the side of that field. You know, the hogs came out not real early, but you know, plenty of shooting light. There's a couple of them in there shooter size hogs, not the, the spotted up hogs that you know we're wanting to take down here. But uh, it was pretty neat watching them out there eating the corn and, you know, maybe this afternoon I just actually just heard another shot just as we were speaking just a second ago. So I think we might be in good shape this afternoon, but we might be in better shape today than we were last night. You know, Bub, these wild hogs, you can get anything out of them pork-wise that you can buy at the grocery store. What happens a lot of times if you kill a really big boar, a lot of times they got a little gamey taste on them. So if you're really wanting to kill a good one, you know, to, to eat, feed your family with, 75, 100 pounds is actually an ideal barbecue size hog. You know, you can get pork chops, boneless pork chops, anything you can buy at the grocery store, you can get from a hog you kill out here in the wild. But, you know, you kill one of those really big, ugly boars, sometimes they got a little little bit of a gamey taste to it. I don't know what gamey taste means, but they don't taste like the regular pork does. So you kill a smaller hog, you know, in the 75, 100 pound range, you feed a lot of people with it, and you get a better, better taste in meat. So, you know, the big boys, they come out late, so if we get one of those good eaters come out pretty early, I think we're gonna go ahead and pull the trigger and we can have some groceries tomorrow. It's time for an SOS, Strategies of Success, brought to you by Setlock. Be the dominant predator. Most of the hogs, the absolute best shot on the hog is right behind the ear. That's, uh, it'll put him down. You can shoot him with small caliber rifles. We're hunting with a 243 tonight. You know, it's a flat shooting, small caliber gun, but it's absolutely effective on a hog with the right bullet placement. Right behind the ear, he'll fall down like you hit him in the head with a Mack truck. Behind the shoulder, is also a very effective shot, but on your larger hogs, there's so much fat on them, a lot of times you don't get complete penetration, you know, a full pass through exit wound, and the fat inside will close up the hole and they leave a very bad blood trail. So the neck behind the ear shot anywhere in the general neck region, but behind the ear will put him down right where he stands. He might kick a little bit, but there's no trailing involved. Don't have to get out there with the rattlesnakes and the alligators and the briars. You just pick your hog up, throw them in the truck, and go to the house. SOS Strategies of Success are brought to you by Setlock. Be the dominant predator. All right, folks, what we got right here, the hog straight facing us is a good representation of a spotted up feral sow. We've got another sow behind her. You can tell that one walking out to the right. Those are her piglets right there. 
couple of those little piglets of feral sounds. Feral hogs. You know, the one that's facing us, that's about the perfect size. Bob and I were talking about earlier. As far as a meat hog goes, that's about a 65, 70 pound hog. She'll eat real good in the morning. And, uh, she gets in the right spot. I believe we're gonna go ahead and take her. It's getting kind of late in the day. And uh, watch you know. That's a big Russian sow right there. That's the one that we do not shoot down here. That's the one we want to leave out there to make all the good little Russian boars when they get there. The one that come out by itself is the one we're going to take. That's the one we want right there. your rifle, buddy. Either I missed or your gun though. I don't think she looked like she was hit. See, uh, she come right out here in front of us. I know one thing we're going to find out tomorrow. We're going to take it to the range and find out. We still got a little time. Maybe it'll come back out. Thanks to Danny Harrell and Mike for letting us hunt with them at Cypress Creek Hunting Lodge. That's all the time we have for this week's hunt, folks. Be sure to join us next week for some more great Outdoor Moments. Outdoor Moments is brought to you by Hornady Bullets.